Hi guys, my name is Chrissy Anglicker and I'm here in my studio in Brooklyn, New York. In the last video, I shared on how I make space within my painting practice for paint's natural vocabulary to be part of the dialogue. While doing that, I painted this little blue swimmer painting. And so if you haven't seen that video, I would encourage you to go check it out because today I will build on what I've been talking about um, in that video, because there I was focusing on what consciously happens within the canvas. And today I'd like to focus on what happens beyond the canvas. The first and hardest step on the journey to learn from the outer marks of process is to learn to appreciate these marks of process and view them as information instead of disregarding them as merely a byproduct of creating. After all, they get created simultaneously as when we create, so they can't be that wrong. After I paint, I like to take time to look around the studio before I clean up. For example, I will do a walking meditation to see what's new on the floor and walls. At this stage, my floor has become this living, breathing organism that I get to study and decode. I've been intentionally letting the floor collect paint and build up for many years now. Over the years, many different paint vocabularies have appeared that I could train my eyes to get used to, like new marks that happened by accident that I wouldn't have created intentionally within my work. This is how I get to study my medium way beyond what I could do within one painting. For example, I get to study erosion of paint as well as layering of different marks that I wouldn't choose to put together and color combinations I wouldn't have considered. I mostly paint sitting on the ground to be close to the floor. That way I feel fully submerged within my medium. Functional studio objects like my painting pillows, my paint stool, shoes, brushes, and spoons over time become artifacts all shaped by this process and by these marks. Here's an example of applying this information. Follow me from the floor into this beach scene. As you can see, the paint vocabulary is so similar to what I have internalized through my surroundings. Now I get to push my painting style by bringing that outer information into the painting. So yeah, um, I hope some of these insights may resonate with you guys. And I also wanted to say um, thank you so much, Blake, for um, giving me this opportunity to share all this. And um, also thank you so much, Utrecht Acrylics, for existing. You've been my partner in crime for 10 years and um, it's just been so wonderful. So thanks so much and thanks guys for um, listening.